Unmute your thing, yo. I can't hear you. You need to unmute your. Are you there? You don't have opinion. What do you mean? <laughs> eh? <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, I didn't have opinion. I didn't have opinion now. <laughs> I was asking you questions were, you mostly. Were talking, you were talking. I'm like, okay, right now, right now. <laughs> I, w- I was asking questions mostly now. See, when it comes to this Christianity of a thing, mm-hmm. before this Abel Damna side talking, I mm-hmm. have had so many questions in my mind. Sometimes I stopped going to church. I started going back. I just see that the way they would just copy and Moses said, I said, I'm not Moses. And so the children of I said, that is not my time. It just does not, it's, it's not making sense in my you head. Couldn't, you couldn't relate. I cannot relate. I said, these people have died, they are gone. I don't even, I, I'm not connected to my grandmother the way I want to. Now you are telling me about Paul. Paul, what year? <laughs> so let's bring it back It's to, a struggle. It's, it is a, it's so much of a struggle. And they don't know. They just climb that puppet and be toiling with people's mind. They are, they are so ego because it's like your essence. You can't, it's like a foundation. They don't mm. know the extent of what they are doing. They will just find that be talking and be talking. One time, and sometimes when my pastor is preaching, I will find myself saying, Well, I, that's not, that's not, that's not me. That's not yours. I'll be talking back. <laughs> <laughs> Rebellion. <laughs> Rebellious. And I'm re- telling you, I'll be like, no, but that just that does not make any sense. And I don't be looking like everybody is laughing. I'm like, what is funny? Why are you people laughing? Why are you people funny? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. So coming back to this one. When I saw the, the video, this one, I'm like, no, it's a lie. Mm-hmm. I cannot be if it is audio, I'll say no, it's AI. Like it's actually <laughs> apologizing, like <laughs> it's, it's actually, no way. <laughs> for, in fact, for that to even happen in the first place, it's like a step in the right direction. It might take them the next 100 years to get uh-huh. it right, but at least to start from here. Did uh-huh. you know the price that these people have to even you? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it takes Holy Spirit to actually convict him. Oh God, I'm Wait, saying are you all trying this. to say that the geo does not have the Holy Spirit already? I'm saying he has it, but how uh-huh. can you be with your whole chest? be preaching something that is wrong and still be standing on it that is the way vdm is so wrong and we are telling him and he will still come to our face to come and make another video that's like it drag Bala no again. <laughs> can you just imagine that we will we be calling the name of god in vain teaching rubbish like i For grew decades. up at cac i grew up oh you grew up at cac too let ah. me tell you what they said moti so you should run me just a little go It's real. This when is our life. This is what we know. Jesus, people's, I don't have two lives. Yeah. I can't yeah. allow these people to just be telling you this is wrong. And you cannot think. You cannot question. You can't. You, you can't cannot evolve. question. It's just the same. You cannot listen to your mind to say, this is what I'm thinking. They will think, oh, it's, it's the spirit of the devil. What my shit deliverance for any? You, can, you cannot oh, talk. Yeah. They don't listen. It is only their way. Only spirit only, only communicate to them. So when I saw this video, I'm like, okay, is this actually true? So the, all these Abel Damina has been firing them. Really, thank God. Ah, <laughs> now they listen. You follow right after, like, right what? after freeze. Right after, because all of them know, but they just don't know how to make a youth turn. This, sometimes I will say, is it the same Bible that we are reading? I don't get. Mm. You people will get on the altar and be saying something else. The thing I'm reading in my Bible, it's telling me something else. Yeah. So when I saw that video, and then I'm like, oh yeah, um, it's wrong for me to... Where did you even find that old video? Where he actually said... Uh, it's everywhere <laughs> now. his face was still very young. I, I, think, I think I found it on uh, maybe Twitter, YouTube. It's somewhere. It's oh online. It's everywhere. It, it, was, it was trending earlier on today. So wow, you, you... people actually went to... 
to, to dig it out. Yes, the wow. internet does not forget. Back in the days, wow. you could get away with this kind of stuff. But the yeah, internet... they don't know that you cannot continue. This generation is not playing. It yeah. is like this. I can't imagine the next 20 years, the next 30 ah. years. You cannot <laughs> come to the altar. Oh, my drag, you're down. Hey, come down, come down. Jesus died for all of us. You can never be teaching us that. You go and look for another job. If you don't know how to teach the truth, you do. You are okay, so you, I bet you were so rebellious. Jesus. I'm telling you, it's not. I mean, like this is not rebellious. I just know that something is. I know wrong. what you mean. It's so, so, so the way I wrong. see it, right? The way I see it is that it's actually love for Christ. Yes. When, when somebody is questioning uh certain like, I want to logic. Know more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like They're this one that you said did not make sense what you are asking me to do is pretend like it didn't make sense yeah. and i'm struggling that it I'm doesn't struggling. make sense <laughs> right let and me... they say stop struggling just be obedient don't be a, 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 a let a, a me tell satanic... you one recent example sorry that i digress no problem they told us to come to church i think it's been like a month ago now and then mm -hmm. we got to say oh all the women pastor wants to speak to us me mm. too i carry my two slippers Two left leg, I carry it, I, I reach there, thinking they want to tell us something good. Then they started talking about this Psalm 31. And people, you can see people were pushing back. The more person was talking about, this is what women are supposed to do, we're supposed to be supporting our other. People were pushing back, pushing, uh -huh. it was, it was crazy. Then it got to the point, you know what pastor said? Pastor said, did you all, did you all of you want to go to hell? I said, yeah. Yeah. He yeah. yeah. said, yeah. Yeah. Go back to the on no lomo. All them are starting gaslight there. They pam pam. Go back. Yeah, yeah. Did you want to go to hell? I said, which hell? Which I said ever again. Cause the program will be with me. I don't care if it is under the head. If it is middle of the sea, I'm not going. If it is this rubbish that you, they will not listen. They don't listen. Then when he saw that everybody was just like, no, this is wrong. Bible did not say this. Then he said, did you people want to go to hell? They will scare you with hell. Take me to hell. Which other hell do I want to go than the one that people in Nigeria are going through? Mm. Yeah. We which hell? Stop scaring people. He has given all the spirit, spirit of of uh bold bold spirits. Abia, this, this passage says it. They will tell us we don't know how to fear. quote the Bible. Why are we talking about Bible? Lo? Just uh -uh. leave that one alone. No, yeah. not fear. Like they use fear to <laughs> Yeah, he hasn't your given your us the spirit of fear. Yes. Yeah, they yeah. use yes. fear to grab but, your spirit. So mm -hmm. back to this money. Then when he was talking about, oh, yeah, I I'm I'm sorry, I shouldn't say this. Then he went right back. To say yeah. that 10% is even small. Sir, you have not even finished this. So, to, so my question, right, Jim, 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 how can Pastor Aye uh, Depo about Adeboye Jari, sorry, how can he teach other people how to apologize properly? Um, when he, because I don't, I don't think he did that intentionally. Did, did you see what this man did? Uh, the Dome of Glory. What's his name again? Who? Oh. Oh, no. um, for uh, for in, 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 in nature, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. What oh. about him? Oh God, when he was when he was dragging that lady of testimony. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I remember that. that. I remember he that. Apologize. He, him and his wife just dragged the lady. He, he bribed the way through. About. And they just they don't apologize. They are too big. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. are too. They don't. They don't. And you know, this is this is Paul this, this, on the screen. Paul is like a child or a spiritual son to Pastor Deboye. I think what they usually do, yeah. if you apologize, is like your rank comes down. People will disrespect you, or they will yes. not see you as the big man of God that you are anymore. You, mm. all of us, are human beings. Yes. And you, you people are not God. You can make mistakes. The only person, like you said, is Pastor Sam Adeyemi that will actually come. I think I'm wrong. I shouldn't have said that. Oh yeah, Apart yeah, yeah, from yeah. That he, man, has no, he has no shame in that. Pastor, yeah. it doesn't. And they should not be shaming. And they should not be shaming. They that. should not be shaming. I don't know how they have carried themselves so mm -hmm. high that they cannot come down. Yeah. That is the problem we are having. If there's nothing wrong in okay, this man that says his people should not watch TV. I cannot imagine depriving Come on, myself. Come on. Depriving my own family to say we should not watch they TV. They did though. I grew up seeing them. We have family friends. I uh, have friends in school yeah. that did not watch TV. They did though. And they, they just let it go like that. Let mm -hmm. me tell you, if they did that nonsense here, going forward, you are cancelled. Because they will not trust everything that you'll be saying anymore. That church, I, I don't know. They don't they don't have this fear, sentiment, mm -hmm. all this nonsense reference that we have. They don't have it. 
You either yeah. come correct or don't come at all. Yeah. So he did not apologize. He rather make a 360 U turn to mm -hmm. say, How oh, are you even giving 10%? The mm -hmm. only thing that I see apologize for is saying that you will not make heaven. Yeah. So you actually will make heaven by. Uh, it's a. It's a. It's a men. I don't know if I should call it cultural. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't think. I, I don't I think don't it's like cultural. Culture and yeah. tradition. Yeah, because I don't think it it's means cultural. Different mm -hmm. things to other people, and again, many times we refer to culture when we want to mm -hmm. take advantage of. Something. Yeah, I think we just blame culture easily. Uh, I think it's. I think it's our coconut head in general as, as human yes, beings. Yes, we just yeah. look for culture that passes yeah. whatever we, whatever yeah. we are doing at the moment. It's yeah. not like we like culture that much, or we like tradition. Yeah. We just want to cover it like oh this is yeah. what it's which culture is there a book for it yeah it's, it's just easy to blame culture cult it's just yeah. easy to just use it to cover our bad behavior at the time so it's, it's human bad culture. behavior and it's, it takes yeah. self-awareness to cover it yeah 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 so let me let me play before you continue let me play this mm -hmm. audio this is this is why i say it's not culture it's just human coconut head now with our culture it can be a little bit harder because we tend to say that's when you both stuff don't do you both stuff right you're teaching us all this on your there's too much on your and mm -hmm. the reality also is that languaging barrier is a big deal too because yes. because when i'm trying to for example talk to my folks about the social emotional intelligence stuff it just gets lost in translation or it's just like you go just like you tired but let me play yes. this video for you and you can see uh this is my wife she posted a video earlier on today okay um uh, on how our parents apologize <laughs> let me wait hey, hey, don't go there <laughs> that's another thing on its own why is let, let me start all over so he she found she found baby oil in the house uh, you know this did this story of baby oil uh -huh. so she's so she's basically going to talk to uh she's going to scold her son she found baby oil in there she just found baby oil in us anyway wait, wait. jump into conclusion without asking question baby oil wala. <laughs> like one of these shares, are you doing it? Yeah, right. I'm a devil. I'm a Mommy. Why is baby oil? Eh? Eh? Why is baby oil in your room? Are you a baby? Are you? <laughs> you think I don't watch the news? You think I don't know what that guy, uh, P Dada, is using the baby oils for? Eh? You think I don't know? God forbid, God forbid, not in my house, not in not, not over my dead body. Ungrateful mosquito. Mommy, the baby oil is for Auntie Sharon's baby shower. You asked me to buy it with some diapers. The diapers are even in your car already. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> he said to don't apologize before he she moved. No, they are too big. Nope. No. <laughs> she just left. They but she's going to apologize. Look at how she apologizes. This is the best of them, by the way. <laughs> My son, see, I prepared your delicious meal. Uh -huh. Watch it and some egg and some fish. Here you go. Enjoy it. <laughs> uh -huh. That's the apology. <laughs> I'm going to get dressed so that we can go to the baby shower. <laughs> we praise thy name, O oh Lord. We praise thy name, O oh Lord. This guy is stupid. So now we are calling ourselves Christian, and the way the, the essence of Christianity is love your love yourself and you love your neighbor. Yeah, those are the two things. At, at this point, that's the only thing I want to do. Yeah, we don't we I don't, don't know care. we uh, we don't know what that is. You know, I don't, I don't because know. because nobody taught us. Like I was saying, I think Pastor Adiboye is a victim, like the rest. Yes, of us. yes. Uh, but you will get to a point where you should you know I, I will not i will not you won't take it. it all the way i get it i won't scare but, but i understand it, the genesis of where he got his mindset from yes but he has grown so much to know ah uh, is a professor what what mm -hmm. what the uh, there are many of them that know books. I just told you. Remember the Fred Amata story we just covered? Don't mention that on Facebook. You see, it's, 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 it's are intelligent people <laughs> when it comes to books. Yeah. You know, IQ, EQ are two different things. Yeah. You know? 
So yeah. it takes you, it takes self-awareness. It takes yeah. you understanding that you have emotions yourself. Yeah. And then sometimes you feel some type of way, but you are actually wrong. You are <laughs> even wrong. Though, even though, even though your spirit, uh, your, everything you are being says, you should blame somebody else for that thing. Yeah. Or your you children. Even my no. three year old will hold me accountable. Mommy, that's not nice. I, 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 I can't yeah. live without saying sorry to them. Like, now it's even very easy for me. Mommy, no, did you, you do? Did you, you just do that? Mommy, yeah. you just eat me. Uh, no, ah. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Mm. They won't let you be. You cannot. If you didn't do it right now, they will still come back. Below will still come back. So, yes, mommy, mom, it's, it's just eight. It will come back. And so, mommy, also the other time, I'm like, mm. oh my God, also today, also today. Okay, mm. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It yeah. is not hard. It is not. I don't get because, it. even so before they start talking, even yes. before my daughter started talking, she was like, Hey, bad word. Before she started talking, <laughs> I was like, Hey, Mugbe, this was yes, yes, they will hold they will <laughs> you. You cannot get away with it. Last yeah. word, you. And if you mm -hmm. think you're getting away with it, when they are all grown, you, you will get it back. Like, you expect yeah. them to now be all good, they will remind you. Like, did you remember, mommy? Did you, you think you forget? But I will give it to you for at least even saying I have told hey, do you know what that means mm -hmm. in nigeria it's like they worship them as god yeah. I, I don't know well i mean i will give it to him but to now fall around people that are still struggling that cannot buy bread that cannot buy rice mm -hmm. to tell them to still be paying there's some people are struggling to pay 10 percent. these people are not it's not nice now so still have turn around to say that 10 percent is not even nice People yeah. that have, you don't have to tell them. They will pay fifty percent. They will pay hundred percent. They will. Oh. You they don't will. have to. They will drop. Don't, don't, don't they will drop everything. Me. If I they always. Them, they always. Give, people always say, ah, I know there are people that are not giving, but they're prosperous. I say you're wrong. Everybody you're that wrong. prospers, this is the way of trying to circumvent what you're trying to hold them accountable for. I'm ah. trying to hold you accountable for trying to put people in a headlock and manipulating them into giving. This, this is crazy. So, so they will now turn around and say, oh, I know I know where you're going. I know there are people that don't give but they are prosperous. No, we're not going there because actually that's wrong too. There's nobody that's prospering that doesn't give. But they it don't might not get help. The church, oh, they are, they want exactly. Like they are giving. Exactly. Because every giving is acknowledged in the Bible. When you go to the prison, as much as you give to those that don't need, you are giving it to me. It is exactly. really written there in the Bible. Don't come and gas it. It got to a point, uh, MOP in church, yeah. when they, when it comes to tight and often, the way they will be emphasizing, I say, I will not pay today. Come and put your hand in my pocket and take it. Because I, what is you people? If I want because, to give, because, because it, Jum -Jum. God love cheerful giver. Cheerful. Let it come from my hand. Stop because Jum -Jum, what's the, what's the point give? of... So some of us have that personality that if i have to be held to standards, i will not give i don't care <laughs> if it i have to be held to standards that is so ah. far out of my control what's the point just what's take the it point? then <laughs> just ah. take it you know? no, by God. Stop me alone. i will just wake up tomorrow 50 dollars will just drop out of my pocket or they give me a ticket on the road because have i didn't fight let them give me ticket at least let now they will take me. it <laughs> And it's not always what it is. Uh, I mean, I, let me just reserve my comment. This is a uh, public space. So, so yeah, I was going to say a, that. It's so, a struggle. The point, here, the point here is very simple. I think the most authentic place, uh, way for people to live their life of faith is from a place of free will. Free uh, will. It's no longer giver. free will anymore. It's just authentic. It just makes sense that that's authentic when they want to, you know? And I think that's the mindset we're struggling with here. It's not yeah. about calling Baba Adeboye out. It, it, I think he's a victim of the same mindsets that we're pushing yeah. against. And, and and the fact that he will wait almost a decade before he could correct that. That is what I'm saying. That's ah. what I'm saying. He knows. Wow, so, and by the way, he hasn't corrected really? it, by the way. We're just saying, attempting to correct it. I was, I was just going to hold you to that MOP. <laughs> Baba did not correct nothing. But for me, if you make this step, it's a, uh, like I said, it's a step in the right direction. Right? I guess, yes, yes. It, yes. I mean, it starts yes. something. All those yes. other ones on that. Did you know how many people how many big big pastors are under him this is such an example for them every one of them are under him what every one of them are under him you know how many, yeah. how many brothers is the biggest of them him. so this is like a step in the right direction I all agree. these things that this is, is working you should keep firing them 
Do all okay. of them come? You cannot be. G- Jesus did not collect anything before he died for us. Mm. Whatever I'm giving, I'm giving out of thank you, Jesus, for all that you have done for me. Cheerful today. giver, cheerful you giver. You can know, oh, the man love me, love walk back like he's mm. me for one night. Yeah. yeah. Uncle yeah. Ben, you're welcome. Uncle Ben, no, this is what they. I, I don't like preaching, but just <laughs> for the coconut head that will be in the chat later, I'll say, where's the Bible verse in all of this? What oh, scripture wife. are you speaking oh, from? Mama. Second <laughs> Corinthians. <laughs> Go and look for it. You can Google it. I just Googled it. Let, let me know. Let me know. Deceive you. I just me. The moment <laughs> I hear that, I know this is wrong. I've been hearing the Bible since when I was wrong. I know you have to. I already know. No, Bible did not say this. I don't know if there's another Bible. Anyway, no. so this is the letter. Okay, this is the context they refuse to get. This is the letters of apostle paul to the corinthians okay it's not just and we are not in quarantine we are in nigeria <laughs> okay wait, we are wait. in nigeria <laughs> drink water drink water drink, drink. hold on <laughs> second corinthians 9 67 the point is this whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly and whosoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully each one must give as he has decided in his heart not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. It's the same scripture. Uncle Benno, welcome, sir. Hey, MOP. I, I see my they enjoyed uh, Sister Jum Jum. Did that, did that try? I was easy on Baba, right? I didn't do Yeah, yeah, we enjoyed the recording. Don't, don't touch my anointed. <laughs> don't touch my anointed, though. We are all anointed, my brother. I actually believe in that, but it's the way they. Interpret it as left. MOP. You know. yes. One question I ask people when they say, Don't touch my anointed is, mm-hmm. Do you have the proof of the anointing? Is it not the Goya that you buy from the top? How do you know? <laughs> yeah, I usually ask, How do you know this person is anointed? So, well, show me the proof that, okay, so you, can, you, you, can, you can detect anointing. <laughs> you When you see those who God is upon their life, uh-huh. And you know them by their fruits, by what comes out of their mouth, by how they behave. They cannot have by, and be demanding by, for money like this. So let me give how... you a straightforward question then. Do you think Baba Debo has the anointing over his life? Has I am not I am not the person to tell if he has anointing or not. Yeah, I would tell if he I has know, anointing. He I'll has, so I'm not well, doubting that. This is so. what I uh, it depends. What you that. say <laughs> when you say somebody has anointing, uh-huh. um I'm up you go. It's gift you now, it's gift. It don't, they don't have to don't, be don't, don't let me go where I don't want to go. I respect okay, Baba yeah. too much. And I respect all the people who say they are Jew, they are everything too much. Mm-hmm. But what you just said right now, the question you just put to me right now, mm-hmm. is the main problem you are having in Nigeria with Christianity. Mm-hmm. If I put the same question to you now, show me one significant spiritual thing that you see and you say oh this man has anointing mm-hmm. if we have to go by spirituality biblical stuff miracles doing what jesus christ did but we not go there but let us leave it we are raised to respect our elders uh-huh. and as christians we are raised to respect the people who are leading the church mm-hmm. and that's where me i stand now that doctrine has been with us since from our childhood to adulthood mm. Uncle, i remember a i'm a christian a born again christian to the core okay i gave my life to christ in 1998 my sister you forget say maybe i'm at the crack joke or i'm playing over playing i'm a core christian i gave my life to christ 1998 and mm-hmm. ever since then, I, I know they step back. I know they say backslider or back. whatever. <laughs> you feel me? So, but the thing is this. I think from 1998, when I gave my life to Christ, that's when I begin to see people for who they are. And that mm-hmm. is when I started following a path that, look, even if everybody can deceive me, me personally, I shouldn't deceive myself. Mm-hmm. If I weigh you in my spirit, if I look at everything you are doing as a Christian leader and everything, 
and I can see more of the things you are doing canonically to please the world and to please yourself as a Christian leader. Ah, uh Bagbe, -uh. I will leave you to your own. No, be me go judge you. No, be me go criticize you. But do your own. I do my own. That is my how my own Christianity leads me. So I'm not gonna say eh, Baba has read. People have anointing, but do you also know that when you go against what God called you to do, the anointing will leave you, and your followers will know that the anointing have already left. Only the ones that have spiritual eyes, the ones that understand the the working of the Bible, what God wants us to do, those are the ones that will look at you as a leader and they can tell that oh damn. The Holy Spirit have left this leader. But we are Nigerians. We can't say it. What we have in Nigeria now, what many people practice in Nigeria right now, I'm sorry to say, not all Christians, but majorly when they are practicing now is a cooperative society. They are practicing what is called society. This is my denomination. This is, we are this one. My church is called this. These are all societal norms and values these are like this is our religion this is our doctrine this is what we do you have to behave certain way you have to do this that's what we have majorly in nigeria now in the midst of those millions of people that found themselves in this society it's not even secret society this is a public society a lot of people that find themselves in this society there are some of those who are true christians who understood the workings of the bible they know what god says we should do as christian and they strictly follow it look at many of this your, uh, your baba, baba Gio, mama Gio. when they have a pastor not majority of this one that hunger make them become pastor me i'll talk my own since the advent of the Pentecostal churches, not, this is not a, 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 an empirical data, but majority of the people you see that spring up and say, I'm a pastor, God called me. Now hunger, hustling, that's what pushed them to become a pastor. They go to seminary schools, school of theologies, everything. They became a pastor. May we not deceive ourselves. As we're speaking right now, if you know a young man in Nigeria who is very sound, has a good quality education and is jobless let him go to school of theology let him handle the mic and speak fluently and has the power of motivating motivating speaking immediately they will be rushing for him even the church where he's serving the pastor won't, won't let him go they oh we have a junior pastor the anointing is upon him but we not deceive ourselves since the advent of Pentecostalism, majority of these people now stomach infrastructure, poverty. Now make many of them become Christian. Back in, in our days when we were growing up, when you see people that God really want to call, the struggle alone before they will finally accept. Say, okay, I want to serve you, God. It's not easy when you accept to serve God. You cannot serve God and mammons. Is that not what they say in the Bible? You cannot serve God and say, I want luxury cars. I want luxury house. I want to build a set. It's not possible. The people who serve God, they, it's like you are giving your life away. That is one thing I still respect the Catholic about. When you choose to be a priest, it's like you are saying, okay, I surrender everything to you. But we know they deceive ourselves. These people have deceived many Nigerians. They have they have misled a lot of Nigerians. And I remember one time. Uh, yeah, I, let me let me just finish my sister. Okay. I remember one time when I said, I think I posted on my Facebook page that look, that the freeze has done Nigerian Christian more favors than they could realize. Why? Just by calling out that titan thing. And everybody was going crazy about that. Degree. Oh, who kill you? This one do you? Is, is it dead? Mm -hmm. We we have problem, and one of our problem in Nigeria is we don't speak up. If that person yeah. is our person, we don't want to speak. The person mm. ah, he can never do no evil me. Mm. If that person comes from our tribe, ah, lie, 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 lie. Even when we see what they are doing wrong, we won't speak out. Everything started from the church. When the politicians started looting in Nigeria. 
when they want to contest, what do they do? They go to the pastors, right? Is it not until your silver job became a, 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 a VP on, on that Buhari and the whole country was going down that people are now beginning to wake up and say, ah, they don't scam us, they don't go to church, you take church, scam us. You see, if we say maybe they talk, we go, they go on and on and on. But as far as this starting is concerned, my own thing as a Christian is this. The moment I realized that, ah, not be how I read for Bible. Say they're supposed to administer this title, not being that they administer them. This is not the Bible in the Bible. Is it Malachi, Malachi 3 or something? I'm sorry, I'm not good at quoting Bible. But it was written that that tithe is made for the Levites. Who are the Levites? The Levites are those who they have no business, they have no land, they are not farming. They, their only job is to make sure they serve God and they are there to administer to people that come to serve God. So that is why he said, bring the, the, the tithe to my house. These people are not Levites. Levites don't ride private jets. Levites don't have universities. I am not saying God will not bless you if you are serving him as a pastor. Of course, people will bless you, but they have missed the road. They have turned it to a business center. So let's, let's forget it. The moment me, I realized that I'm like, okay, damn it. I am not from when I decided that I think was, was that 2008 or something. I decided that when I'm going to church, I am not going to church that the purpose of coming to church, I want to come and bribe God by giving him tithe. No, I am going to church to give. And if I don't have the money to give, nothing bothers me. I come there, I worship, I pray, I go to my house. But one thing I have been doing consistently that never fails, even when I was broke in Nigeria, if, I, if you are hungry, you are around me, and I get money, you won't be hungry. Even if it is the last good time I have, we will share it, I will give it to you. And when I started my journey, God is blessing me in my own little capacity. When I see people where they're hungry, randomly, I don't have to know you, I don't care. If my spirit tells me, Ben, do this morning, I do it. And I enter my house. And God has been lifting me from glory to glory. You know, concern me, you won't pay tight, pay tight. Because tight actually work for those who really believe in it and who understand that God wants you to pay this tight so that they can use this money to help people. But what are they doing with the tight? Build church, build every day, come back, come back, come back. Come the, the, the followers. Uh, do you think your tithe is, is what I use in buy my debt? Do you think your tithe is what I use in buy my Rolls Royce? How much, how much, how much do you pay? There is this one in, 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 in Port Harcourt. God forgive me. I just they pray God, say, God, I beg go. This is social media. I don't want to go call this man out. Every time when that man is missing, I would only me go to the preacher and say, God, no, 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 no. Sometimes I won't even go to my office so that I don't go turn on my camera. That won't preach nothing but tight in Port Harcourt. And he will threaten his members. Even the way he talks, you will be wondering, how is this man a, 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 a pastor, a leader of a church? He will tell his people, what should we do? You don't pay your tithe. And you come here. You are the same free brethren. Get up, get up, get up. I'll be like, jeez. And yet, they don't take Juju all of them, the followers. They have brainwashed them. They can't see beyond their nose. I'm sorry, MOP. That's my take on this matter. Don't go. I have question now. Do you have yeah, question? Yeah, I'm right you? here. I'm right here, my sister. Okay, so when you were talking, this is not to disagree or everybody's just seeing their their view, right? So you said if um someone did not have job, um they can just go to theology school and all of that and they become pastor. You know, that that is very blow to say that how do we know who people call and can people be so passionate about the work, the work of God and volunteer themselves to say, not really because I don't want to work, but I think I, I just am passionate to save soul. I want to go to theology school to learn about Bible, to learn about God, so I know what okay. I'm doing. So can there be people like that that will go to theology school and become a pastor? Because we My have sister. more of that than those that will say, God called them. They, when we were very young, we hear more of that to say, Go, go, like there is go call of God on my head, like go call me. We have more of people that just, you know, their dad is a pastor and eventually they became a pastor. I don't know how MOP escaped that. 
<laughs> what do you what do you mean? I That's not like I'm a son, I'm a son of a uh, <laughs> uh, I'm a pastor. You know, can you imagine your Uncle Bedo dragging me the way you just dragged this man just now? <laughs> <laughs> it's because they were born into church, automatically they become a pastor and not their own branches. Then there's some people that they were jo- they were called. And some just have passion to say, I want to become pastor. I want to okay so because literally I... all of us are called. Okay. If I get your question right, my sister, you are asking this that is does it mean that the people who go to school of theology is because they were jobless? That's why they go. No, 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 not really that way that they are jobless. Their, their pastorship is, is still valid, even though God did not call them. Right, it's still okay. valid because they went to get education. Yeah. Here is the thing. Mm-hmm. Um, here is the thing. I have a brother who is okay. a pastor. Blood brother. Same papa, same mama. Wow. No be outsider. He's a pastor. And he has written so many books. Uh, his books are on Amazon. Okay. Uh, brother, behave and don't need pastors, brother. Because I want to live my life on my own terms. I can't live my life according to what somebody is saying. No. No, my brother. See, my brother <laughs> is my brother is on his own journey. I'm on my own journey. Facts. Right. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So Right from time, he's a gentle, calm person. He doesn't. If you place me and him side by side now, you'll be wondering if we actually came out of the same mood. He doesn't talk much, and when he talks, you know that uh, something is coming out. He's not like me. Me now, street, street, street. I no said so. But to answer your question, my sister, mm-hmm. the way people have gone about Christianity in Nigeria and pastorship, I'll be pastoring or whatever they call it. Pastor has become more or less like an occupation. It's now a profession. As I'm speaking with you right now, if I go into school of theology, come out, there are several ways I can apply the knowledge I got from there. Mm-hmm. And in five to ten years, I will be among these top pastors, especially in these days of uh, social media. I have a pastor friend that we went to school together in Nigeria. Even from school, you know that this is a, this one, God is upon his life. The way they behave, everything they do, you already know the path they have to follow. When we finished, he started his uh, mission and he could, you know, he could not a- apply the marketing aspect of um, running a church. To his mission so you later evangelism no evangelism yeah you see the thing is <laughs> i don't want to go into these people detail it could just be like that they carry the the amateur come outside me the thing is when you go to school of theology mm-hmm. they will teach you how to market your church how to promote your church how to run a church how to no, manage the church no it might not be that to say so Oh, soul. MOP. If you say you know this thing that I'm talking yeah, about, the marketing, saving souls, is that the same thing? Uh-huh. No, it's not. You, you commercialize it like that. Oh, Jum Jum. <laughs> Jum Jum. It's not marketing uh, now. Uh, my so dear sister. The reason of this is to save souls. My yeah, dear sister. That I know. I'm a 47 years old man. I have seen something in this life. And I have researched a couple of things in this life. You will be shocked if you see what they teach pastors in uh, in school of I theology. I even want to go to that theology. It's not my good. Uh, hey, when go. you finish, when you finish, may you come back. Then we go finish. <laughs> okay. So they teach you all these things: how to manage your church. If you go to Amazon, self, you see a lot of books there written by, by pastors. Mm-hmm. Yes. How if to manage you, your church. How to manage your church, hey. how to manage choir, how you they will literally teach you how to run a church like a business. Okay. That is that is like about two or three courses on its own. Then the spirituality, the Bible, 
how to read the Bible, how to interpret it, how to prepare your sermon, your message, mm -hmm. everything. They will literally teach you all of that in School of Theology. So that's why I'm telling you that as I did now, if I enter School of Theology now, I come out and I said, I'm a pastor. I've already equipped myself with the knowledge, biblical knowledge, money, how to manage church, how to win so everything. They've already taught me. All I have to do is to apply the knowledge and it will work. So to answer your question, the way it is, going by how pastors operate in Nigeria, mm -hmm. pastoring has become more of a profession than calling. How many of them do you see that say, I'm a prophet? So let's let's be clear on Don't this. Don't even go to that prophet. I just not do prophet that is selling soap, selling water. Hey, so, so, so my sister, a I prophet, a prophet is different from a pastor. Uh, somebody mentioned it here now that, oh, some of these pastor's sons, they become a pastor because their dad is already a pastor. Yeah, that's right. It's, it's right. just like yeah. those who their dad are lawyers. It's an inheritance. And, uh, and they like, follow Like the pastor, he has three pastor sons. Imagine. And you see? The one that passed no. away was a pastor. The, no. The, yeah. Do you want to tell me that ideally all the children wanted to be a pastor? No, it's because you are a son of a pastor, but you they definitely but, follow but, the path. But, 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 but Uncle Beno, they could want to be a pastor. You can say it's it because of the way they were raised. Point. Yeah. Right? You could say it's because of the way they were raised. Like back in the days when there were family businesses for the most part and not a uh, corporate world where there's systems, right? Where you could go work for another company. Back in the days, yeah. you would go into the same trade that your parents are in. You would go yeah. to farm with them. You would go to, right? You will have a tendency to learn from their craft work. And okay. it's unlikely that you would branch into somebody else's profession entirely, right? So, but in this world of systems where people are going to work or they're going to schools, which is the whole idea also is to commercialize everything, right? You, that's when, that's part of civilization. But Uncle Beno is not wanting to agree that you can be born of a, of a pastor, mm -hmm. even though you were influenced by the fact that your pastor, your father is a pastor, it's still a valid... You can be. You I, can be. I, look, look, I agree. Uh -huh. But... Are you going to say because yeah, we know not all of them are genuine? Wait, to are you going to say because uh somebody is a pastor, mm -hmm. his three sons follow that path and they become a pastor? Are you now saying they are now anointed? So to, to, to me, your definition of <laughs> anointing them now. You, the, the, your definition of anointing is, right? this, is this spiritual anointing or physical anointing let when me we know this. the anointing we are talking about yeah, let, and let me say this right <laughs> your, de your definition of anointing is far mm -hmm. from mine okay. agreed yeah. now let me say this i don't think there is such a thing as non-spiritual i don't think it exists you know when we try to separate it i say something is more spiritual than the others i don't believe in that personally i think we are spiritual beings I think yeah. our experience is spiritual in nature. I think everything we do is spiritual. But I get it. When Nigerians, especially, Take their own separate, own yeah, they just separate the two. Like one person is more spiritual than the other. Like when I was growing up, right, there's a redeemed Christian church next to the church I mentioned earlier, all Christian, all Christian. All Christian is like a hybrid between redeemed and so they are not too spiritual. But they are kind of like redeem slash deeper life, you know. It's kind of like Nicki Minaj slash. <laughs> <laughs> you get it. <laughs> so, oh, so so uh, so my my church, but my church is a little more skewed though to deeper life, you know. So even in the, in redeem, there was a redeem branch in that place in our back then on Okidogmo War. That redeem was still very much like deeper life. Did you know that redeem is two types of them, right? So yes, there's, the there's some very serious, serious uh -huh. one. And exactly. One. Yeah. Exactly. So back yeah. then, this, some sister now give a testimony. I guess she was coming out of redeem. She said, she said, uh, people were asking like, so what type of SU are you? Are you a social SU or serious SU? 
Oh, yeah. This is this is the kind of jokes that will become in the eyes of the devil. Just FYI, there is mm-hmm. no such thing as extra spiritual, and some people are not spiritual. We're oh, all no, spiritual yeah. beings. As, as, no. as, as far as I'm concerned, though, personally, because mm. I can see all of the human behavior in all ramifications amongst them. So when I yeah. say anointing, anointing does not mean perfect. Uh, in my opinion does not mean you're perfect and you're always hearing from God and in fact you don't eat and drink water that's not what it means to me in fact uh, <laughs> MOP for them to even put them put themselves on this very high thing they are even yeah. damage themselves uh, all the prophets in the Bible Moses uh-huh. Moses Moses uh-huh. has gone down all, so, all sides wait, all wait there to... is no perfect wait let me finish that thought Junju sorry uh-uh. so 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 to me when you say somebody has stees, right? And composure. And composure within the body of Christ. Like when they jump on stage, there's just something, there's just a grace over their head. And mm. everybody, nine, eight, nine out of ten people can see it. It doesn't mean they are not smashing the member of the choir. Yes. But but eight out of it's only the women that can tell us the truth in this anyway it, it, it's not eight, me, out of, me, me, eight, eight out of eight out of eight no nine out of ten people will say there's a grace of god over that brother's life it's not necessarily just the way he speaks because you see some people try to copy him and it won't work yeah. it, but there's something about that person uh we might in in the pragmatic world call it they are charismatic mm. right like they just draw people. People are drawn to them. Today. They are also givers. Like Uncle Beno just said, he will share his money. This would also tend to be givers in every way, not just money, but people are drawn to them, right? To me, that's anointing. Anointing doesn't mean you are clear, Holy Spirit, or you're guaranteed to go to heaven. That's not what it means to me, you know? But Uncle Beno, your take. That's the way my anointing is different from you. Um, Jumti was about to talk about oil. On um, people said to me that's not anointing that just baby oil. Oh yeah, oh my! <laughs> I beg, no mention baby oil, please. I think I beg you. <laughs> to me, that's just baby oil. So uh, you know, so I when when oh, I that is the anointing they refer to in church now. Is it not the goya uh, oil the so I, 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 I that's why I say I, I get it because I've seen up to today. You know what that you know my mother was just talking about. They, some, they got there's a that guy. There's, the my mother was just talking about a guy called Babayeri in nigeria are, uh-huh, and they are distributing this water around whatsapp right now as we speak Stop, I'm, so, I'm, I'm dead ass no. i came from this this is uncle Bedo was just talking about his own i came from this this is what i have to deal with yeah. from time to time they, ah my mother gave a testimony as soon as i walked into their house two days ago she said ah daddy i'll give you somewhere to go to shell and i said please tell <laughs> I said, oh please do God. tell. And, and then she goes on to tell me that my father was trying to walk his laptop. And uh, his laptop was freezing on him. All these PC laptops <laughs> was freezing and was acting up and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> no, wait. They brought that laptop to my house before. I, I helped. Did, I did a few things. But I said, this thing is it's not worth Go on, spend $200. Get a laptop. See? And... Um, anyway he didn't listen but he was getting stuck on him but it's not like he needs it that badly so okay. my mom my mom now told me that let me see we just came into the studio yeah so my mom now told me that um so they she when my dad went out of the house she just generally because my father is also even though he's an elder he's a minister he's also skeptical about okay my body come from random places and he's also quite skeptical so my but my mom had been listening to her friend yeah, and all oh, these yeah, whatsapp yeah. friends all these whatsapp oh, friends are yeah. before the prayer of Baba Eri around whatsapp and they are claiming it's working for them so my mother says she put the water water that she prayed to during the Baba Eri prayer and then she go and put it on the on the laptop Computer. and the, and the oh, laptop is not working as far she said the laptop is working she said all kind of testimony that ah alone no money that oh. is in a refrigerator all kind of electronics are just waking up left and right what, <laughs> what do you want me to say i said wow I know god I is great just god is good hallelujah god is good <laughs> 
Oh my God! Don't <laughs> you are so wrong. God, I'm not wrong. I'm eh? dead ass. Mama, I can't discount people. Mama is giving testimony, and, and, and you are looking. I'm up sure. <laughs> Take your time. I can, I can, my mom is another individual entirely. I See, cannot discount a miracle mom. experience. This is where I'm laughing. That's typical of my mom. Yeah. She would be calling me right from here in Nigeria, giving me prophecy. I was just she just come back from this and this is what they say. I said, I don't oh, I cannot even tell her I don't care. I said, okay, okay, ma. <laughs> okay, ma, because I don't know. That's oh, it. Black no. Diamond has said it. It's just good seduction skills, the ability to attract people and make friends. That's anointing as far as I'm concerned. And it can be learned. It's it's very difficult, but it can be learned, you know. So, but Uncle Beno is thinking more spiritual, like more heaven kingdom type you know, yeah the anointing that me i'm thinking of is the one that they did for samuel was it Samuel that was chosen that time uh-huh. when they said they should go to the house of um Elia, or who to go and anoint one uh-huh. one person and then they pour oil that's where they get the the practicing of their anoint anointing from you know yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that is why they always use that. So that's so, so it's a point. I believe in point of contact. I believe mm. that when you it, it just has a way that it affects us as human beings, right? When you put this water, right, and you pray over it and you give a person, right? It, it's a point of contact. It also boosts that person's uh, motivation, right? To also put more effort into whatever it is that they're praying to. But anyway, um, I have Uncle Ola Kidola here. Black Diamond says, I need that water for my back air. It's not growing. <laughs> I think you need Jun Jun for that one. <laughs> what? What? You need Jun Jun for that? You need Jun Jun is beyond beauty. No, I think you need Jun Jun's anointing for that. <laughs> oh, say that no pour only water on the laptop. No, like you stop. You small, oh you touch. God, you you stop working. <laughs> ah, this people. Uncle Afana, unmute your mic. I don't hear you. I do. How you doing? Well, this Christian of 18, eh? Ah, Baba. Nah, 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 fake. Ah, Look back. Christianity is not Let's fake. Let's hear you. Mute mic. Let's, hear, let's, let's have it. Let's have it. Mute your mics. Go you ahead. see, eh? You see, when this Christianity came, eh? It came during the slave trade. When the white man just, um, even though when the evil came inside 50 something or 40 something seven, it came exactly 70 something but that's of this something actually there was no bible involved after they took what they want to uh, take away from us especially the human labor they did not decide what is it to deceive these people's mind after we have conquered them and I brought a book that the black man have know nothing about. The black man have never read nothing about Bible, the Jewish, or even the Romans. The black man just saw the soul, je, je, je. Then they ask the black man to pray. Pray. According to Chida Chebu, by the time the black man opened his eyes, the white man have already told the black man, we are now in charge of this place by the great, uh, what we call the Queen of England, the great uh, Britain. Since then, the black man has been holding that Bible, been reading it, hitting his side of the Bible. But the Bible actually don't do nothing because the Jewish people have nothing to do with the black man. Jesus Christ, no black man. You don't say, oh, one particular place, therefore, that place we call Nigeria, that's it. Now they call the worship God. You know they? That they be God, that they worship Oloku, God of the sun, iron, and God of what well, we call the good harvest. Trees. You know, now through those trees are bushes. Now that they get messed with it, they treat their sickness, eat water to drink, do some feed the fish, the fish. Then the black man now turn it around again and start using it to scam our our people since 1978 when this prosperity church came to be in nigeria slowly be brought by dr bessie idaosa he brought it, this uh he's the, he's the chairman of this prosperity uh, whatever it is before it was roman catholic 
Yes, it started, it started. It started the prosperity Pentecostal. Yes, this one that just that is sucking human beings' blood. Mm. You understand know me? He came with it by his best friend, people that he a genie in the United States uh, or a robot family. Mm. You know, stop. That's how it came. That will ask you if anything in your pocket, bring it out, raise it up, put your hand in your pocket and bring the money. Don't don't your look at it. One. Don't look at it. Ask you to raise your hand up. Exactly. So people will carry bodo as offering. Since then, eh, the old thing, the new ones called the learner. This one's so in day now. This Baba and the other one when you get two rosaries. Mm. All this one are a boys. Protégés. You understand me? Go to that guy, break, come, eh? Now you see the grand now. Mm. You understand me? Whereby, you go see person, they go to church, you know, if you eat. Mm. But you go give it last word to say, eh, hey, God, they. Which God won't cure, cure you? Will you the sick? Our ancestors, they go to that bush, go look for the mercy. Anything, heart problem, or whatever it is, so woman don't feel born, no. they get the cure for everything, they go to that bush. This is a real life checkup experiment. What they don't do, can they walk? We go wear dirty slippers. You go to look for God. You go to pray. You go to pray heavy. Oh, I fall into this trap too. Long time mm -hmm. ago, I'll be praying three times a day. If not, my mother started looking at me like, "Are you mad? What, what's wrong with you?" Oh, Jesus Christ! The later part, I can't realize my sister. What should I call them for this? It's all that madness now. Mm -hmm. You understand me? So this this literature. What they carry comedy this this part of Marbeck or Henry the fourth type of uh, uh, book where they carry calls so who they read they continue they read why people know the white people will bring a comedy they only go to church again there are churches that are being converted to be apartments so make a, make a, make I ask you sorry to go a little personal are you a Christian or no Ma, uh, you see I be I grew up in, in parents that worship uh, what they call now voodoo you know what I mean? Oh, okay. So tra traditional, you grew up. Uh, in this oh, 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 local, this uh, Ogu, all the sound. I met my grandfather. What, what, tri what tribe is that? Uh, Edo. Okay, so Edo people they worship Ogu, Oloku, Oloku, all okay. these ones, all these other uh, god of the sea and god of the sun. You know what I mean? Okay. 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 So, so now so I you met my, the god of our ancestors essentially. Uh, I met my grandparents. Mm -hmm. Worshiping these things, mm -hmm. but my mother and father, because of their education mm -hmm. and Roman Catholic, that if if portrayed to their life, okay, they now uh, they were Roman Catholic people. So based on that, me now following them to that church also. But mm -hmm. I did baptize because I could not. Um, that their hey Mary is full of grace. I could not read because I was still married. The man gave okay. me a very the priest gave me a very dirty slap at the age of seven. Wow, you know, you said because I could not say because I stammered. So, you see, this church, eh, this church, even the refer even themselves, people were still able to eat. Mm. But, was also, was good. but the one that came later that they just shocking people head and the toe. prosperity Pentecostal. Uh huh. The ten percent after ten percent, you give again, you give again, you give again, you give again. The men are living fat out of it. I was in university when I went to Christ the first time, I was 1993. Mm. When those people were preaching, man, they, they, their song, they lean on me, all this kind of music. You you allowed to wear carpet. When I saw the pastor, I go look at that man. Looking at that time, man, his house, if you put leg on the rock, you're almost sick. He was driving regular Mercedes Benz, looking fresh. I look at myself, I look at the man, say, hey, God, this was another one, though. But mm. today, not even the politicians. These pastors have colonized our people's mind. Nothing good out of it again. They, they, mm. they, they, they look dosa. They can't protest. They, they have no that thing. Rather, if you mistakenly help them with $100, oh, now you go, I have a vision. Say, now you go, go say to call help me. That's what they are now. Everything don't that Pastor and uh, these ones, these boys, when they do this, uh, when they press body, you don't know the difference again, no? Now they say to all of them that they even was past politician. Yes. Also say that they apologize. When you want cash up here, mm. they go say they apologize. They go form another format again. Don't say that re apology. They, they go form another format again when they take home again. 
Yeah. I uh, apologize, eh? Okay. This other format. You must say give. You you know if you avoid that. So but, so so now today, do you still practice uh traditional religion? No, I know they practice nothing. I don't believe in human being. If you mm. get if you date nice to me, I could date nice to you. Mm. You understand me? I'm, look, I'm married here. Yeah. I'm married to whom my young blessing they carry the church come our side. I never hear that woman say Jesus Christ was a man to one day. I never mm. ever hear say something God because say Jesus. I never hear that from a man. Nah, but wait, wait, wait. What since you grow, what church do they go? Yeah, I tell me say this protesters, blah 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 blah. I said, but why you don't mention Jesus? If she look at me like you're crazy. <laughs> Papa and Mano, they go to church. You understand? Know, church for their territory, eh? They don't they convert her to be apartment. Mm -hmm. They convert her to be... So, they, those ones, those ones they don't they ask for money. So, make I ask you this one last question. Because we're rounding up. Do you really... Um, not do you really, but do you believe, at least, even from a place of maybe just being objective, right? Because, you know, at least in the Western world, at least we respect people's religion and faith. It's part of civilization. As far as I'm concerned, and we should respect people's religion and faith. Uh, do you believe that paying tithe could block a person's path to heaven? Uh, I know you probably don't believe there's heaven, but <laughs> what, what, what's your thoughts around that? <laughs> My brother, heaven, eh? Nobody know where the heaven day. Now spiritual so, thing now, now spiritual. Okay, spiritual thing, eh? Mm -hmm. That heaven, what did they talk about? Eh? <laughs> God, no one know where the heaven is. If now earth is there, if now where that where somebody. No, goes. heaven is not a planet. It's just okay. a spiritual paradise it's that okay. after life. Mm -hmm. So first of all, now hear me. No. Eh? If I feel enjoy first, but I feel eat, maybe I feel eat bread, and better um, feel, feel eat something that I like. Mm -hmm. eh? Where satisfied, make me happy. Because I know they smoke, I know they drink. But if I just eat something else, if not even fish, but I, I like it, I feel dance put. Now I have to be my heaven. You understand mm. me? I have to be my heaven. I say, are they healthy? You know, are they, I eat what I want to eat, and it satisfies me, I feel happy. I they heaven at that moment. Mm. If the world they so to they will say they're very painful. My brother, this heaven and hell, eh, you know, they really exist. Not be what our people believe on before. I never hear my grandfather talk about hellfire or even talk about heaven. We only talk about do something good so that you your spirit will be settled in in maybe in after world. You understand know I me? Mean? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So for me, na na to I, I be humanity. Love be hum Somebody will be like say, I know if it, the way I go treat you now, so I want me to treat me back. You understand mm. me? So, so now I don't believe in human in humanity. Be nice, be good. If you want to help, help. If you don't have the means, just tell the truth. Say I don't get the means, so I don't feel help. Even with the person the vessel, say, are you getting the hider? But there's no actually heaven and earth. this heaven. That's what they cheat our people. They, they don't look. Most people don't buy to go to heaven. People don't buy themselves. Say they won't go to heaven. Say this was done too much. Only God know where they day. You understand me? Only God know where they day. Person feel they sleep. You know, person they sleep, don't know where they go now. You know, so I don't believe in that heaven at all. That, that fake. This whole thing of Christianity where they carry can't give to my brother that fake. You know, so if you give if you give oh nah good. If you know give oh, but it's not a guarantee to get to heaven anyway. No, no there's no heaven. They actually there's no, no real heaven at no. look when they seize the mind there, eh? they they seize the brain, seize the mind. Mm -hmm. Since then see, with the other volume five. You know, we do that for five. We'll well, be Uncle, well, Uncle Kidola, okay, here's my last question. It's the same question I will give to Jim Jim and Uncle Beno to round up. But there are people that passed on and they woke them up in the hospital and they will say, ah, I've, I've heard testimony. So growing up, I heard testimony. People that wake up and say, there's heaven. Don't play. There is hellfire. Jesus' second coming is coming. What do you say to those people that they've, they have evidence, so to say. They've gone and they woke up and they said their message is to come back and tell everybody that they're heaven. <laughs> Don't make it's, me laugh now. Why are you doing that? <laughs> yeah, this is our body. Eh? 
-hmm. it can act very strange. You understand me? Especially the heart. When they say you press it die, mm -hmm. maybe the heart stop. The heart be like engine now. Mm -hmm. Out of the blue, can't wake up again. You know what I mean? Come, come like say the heart start beating again because at that moment nobody will say it die. Nigerians don't no believe say persons feel wake up once you die. And the body the, the person your the depends on the body. The body feels start itself again. You understand me? The body the, as if, if if the blood see the flow at that moment too. Mm -hmm. You understand me? The body feels start itself again. The, the, yes, there are some certainty say, oh, this is miracle. You understand me? Mm -hmm. But not the miracle of the Bible. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not saying there's no spiritual being no mm -hmm. somewhere else. You understand me? Our mm -hmm. spiritual being is is we, we look we came out of the people that made us. Without these people, we will never ever exist. So it's now na, na rotation. Mm, na na rotation. rotation. And so mm -hmm. so we did on that rotation. Okay, grandpa, grandpa, what well, you don't know, the go. Maybe that was the come back recognition. You owe your own, you come on. But one thing is, is this. Mm -hmm. The joy of doing good, you understand? The joy of doing good is overwhelming. Mm -hmm. that doing bad. And that can feel like paradise. Aha! Uh -huh. That's what I mean, my brother. That just all. Oh, not about say you're doing it to enter to enter heaven and have uh, wine and uh, gold, gold in it. It does not exist. That's just the truth. In other words, the person will wake up with shall I tired? No evidence. <laughs> all right, thank you, boss. Thank, thank you very much. I appreciate you. <laughs> uh, Uncle Beno, let me go with you. I'll round up with you, Jim. Uncle Beno, the same question for you. Okay, that person that woke up, it's not one person, though. I've been hearing these stories since I've been growing up. They give the testimony all the time in church. People wake up and they use it to preach that there's heaven. Um, uh, mm -hmm. You know that song? Nobody, no more. Bow, no show. Give me one minute, Timothy. Give me one minute. All right, let me go with Jim Jim then. Jim Jim, what's your take on this oh that I wake up? Now, I'm a I'm a I'm a health IT uh, healthcare IT uh, consultant, so I do have to consult in hospital settings sometimes and uh, i've seen people wake up mm -hmm. like like the, i've seen people they will give them what do you call that thing cpr they will almost break their chair i've seen them woken up 98 year old person before mm. you know once they don't have the do not resuscitate thing on file mm -hmm. right they call it the do not resuscitate uh paperwork something like that once they don't have it on file they are obligated as long as to try to even though they've died they will do code blue everything but they wake them up back again so people yeah. will just wake up you know so he say it's not it's not here in america it's nothing special to us in nigeria that's just science for them yeah you know but so, in nigeria it's a miracle yes so so when i was growing up having to hear that a lot um you know you believed in it like you know like there's heaven, there's fire because you were yeah. raised into this. This is all you know now, mm -hmm. right? But what's your belief mm -hmm. system when it comes to that? Um, first of all, we're talking about not making heaven. Baba did not really retract his statement, though. Mm -hmm. It's just saying you should step up your game. That's for babies. 10% yeah. is for babies. Mm -hmm. uh, he did not retract. Yeah, thank you, DNI, DNR. Thank you. Baba did not retract the you're not going to make it to heaven no he kind of said it's not in the bible but you know they also tell it retracted. he said uh, he apologized i said if you don't pay your tithe you will not make heaven that mm -hmm. is like a complete sentence okay. he said he apologized that he said if you don't pay your tithe you will not make it to heaven then he now backed it up to say um how to see god is follow peace with all men in which he did say that uh, yeah. without which there is no, no man shall see god mm -hmm. so he, he made him known that tax is not synonymous to heaven mm. tax has nothing to do with you making heaven or not and that is how they have put people in bondage for years like it's like a fear it's fear. like in my church now it's fear mongering say, yeah it's fear like i don't want to do anything out of fear i, I don't i don't you know in my church they will say they will they will, they will have one brother mm -hmm. that will say even 
if God did not ask for tithe anymore, I be for, for whatever. The more reason that He will pay tight is because so that the the canker ones will mm-hmm. not eat whatever He have left. Right. That is fear. So that I will pay my ten percent, so that the ninety that I have, so that I will not spend it in hospital. I will not spend it. I will not. Be, I don't want to That's another angle, to right? account for it. So mm-hmm. out of fear that... I don't want to pay to tickets, random yes, tickets so, on the road. Yeah, because you will even see some preaching that will say, yeah, the police keeps stopping you because you're not paying your tithe. All yeah, these kids keep calling you. They, they say I tell you, I <laughs> this. I, I, it got to a point, I will sit at the back wherever I'm sitting and I'll mm-hmm. say the lie. You don't know. All things work together. That thing is working at that time. All you things work know. together for All good for those who you love the know. Lord. You don't yes. know why that happens. You cannot. Now you got see. me with that. You can. Yeah. You cannot. I have overgrown that. People mm-hmm. that are still there. I pray God. You know, open because th- like you said, this is this thing is personal. It's personal. I got to this point over time, and mm-hmm. I have left there. I don't care if you if, what. King fire, King on my jab on me, but I don't care. I go by the word of God at this point because now you don't know because he's not a double end to anybody. Ah, he's not a double you don't know what kind of spirit you are using for. <laughs> <laughs> you know, see, he got me to a point where I'm like, uh, anything Lord. the Bible did not say, I'm not because see, they uh-huh. miss Yan when they are preaching, they will mm-hmm. start explaining, saying mm-hmm. things that they were not there when this Bible is being recorded. Because now, for Pastor Adibori to say, if you don't pay your tithe, you will not go to heaven. It mm. is not in the Bible. It is just preaching. Maybe yeah. people now dig that. You don't have to explain. Now, I don't just jump on Bible study because all this explanation, you are talking too much. All this that you are saying is your human reasoning. Yeah. You are yeah. thinking. The, the word of God does not go, let me not go into the Bible, right? Let us put it that way. So, mm-hmm. about people waking up, mm-hmm. And heaven, I'm on phone, beloved. Whatever you want to take, you can go take it. I'm, I'm busy right now. Give me one minute, I'll listen later. So, um, people waking up, yeah, people can wake up. See, it, when I was very young, there are many people that will set ring lights before the time of ring lights now that they say they will die for several days. God took them through hell. Got mm-hmm. to them through evil. This is what Jesus is saying. He's telling us this. I said, if you want to tell me, Holy Spirit lives right inside of me. Mm-hmm. He will tell me what you want me to know. If he didn't tell me, I don't care. Wow. A lot of people will still come and say, God said, I said, God said that to you. Did he tell you to come and tell me? Did, when God is telling you, did he mention my name? <laughs> right. Because you people cannot stress me. And let's be clear, so, which God exactly? Which God exactly? You have all, the, all these people that will wake up one day and they say, Oh, they have been worshipping Kinikon. They came from the water. They came from Marine. All this week. <laughs> no, I can't. You people cannot stress <laughs> me. The way I'm guiding <laughs> <laughs> like, When the Bible says, Guard your heart, this uh-huh. time is the time that you really have to guard your heart because there's so yes, many so. information out protect there yourself. that will, yes, protect your heart, protect your mind, mm-hmm. be, know what you are listening to. So when people say they, they wake up, Thank God that you wake up. That is none of my business. Congratulations. I, congratulations. Nothing, congratulations. You have another care. chance at life. Have, so live, live right. So that That's even a miracle on his own. Yeah, it is your it is your business <laughs> with God. There's a reason why God wake you up again. It has nothing to do with me. So for me, even if there is no heaven, if there's no hell, I want to, to behave well. In case if there's you really want to heaven, do right. You yes, should want to do case, right. Even if there's hell, yes. I don't go to hell. I mean, you know. No, the people so that only do things to go to heaven, they won't make heaven. It's very simple. They won't make it. The they Bible even it. says yeah. that it's not by our doing. It is by it, 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 that is why some people will make mm-hmm. argument that people there are some people that are very righteous mm-hmm. that behave well, but they do not accept Jesus. They still say they will not go to heaven because you don't go to heaven by your doings, you go mm. to heaven through Jesus. Yep. Right, and see, it is very deep. All this teaching is very. Thank you, Jerry Jim Jim. So I uh, believe that there is evil to some extent. I believe okay. there is Holy Spirit. I believe all these, all these, you know, very mm-hmm. standard thing. Right, I there's some standard. Them. There's some. Sta- when, no, there's and the funny thing about them that is that they stand on mm-hmm. that cannot change. But if yeah. you come and be twisting that standard for me we are many problems mm. 
Yeah. 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 I like how you put it. There's some standard that even no matter what religion you go to, you'll yeah. find you it might be di- using different languages but you Boy, find same. those standards yeah yes and, and once mind. once you set anything and you know uh, by the way in 20 24 and beyond people are just picking up manipulation it is so crazy and they have the radar you. for it so ah uh. so if you if you if you if you are late to the party and you don't know that you're being manipulated sorry you but the, a lot of people will not tell you they will just remove themselves from around you I don't see it. I, mean, I, I, I go to church every Sunday now. Mm-hmm. But when they are saying things that my spirit do not agree to, I say, okay. You just go home. Bye. People will just take it. <laughs> For me, I'm not taking it. And funny enough, I am usher, right? I'm usher yeah. in my church. Uh-huh. I'll just be carrying my basket up and down, carrying the envelope. And you'll be out of here. This one that you're saying does not concern me. Go call and me. I, I you're me. working for God, by I'm the way. I'm working for God, and that's mm-hmm. it. And I'll yeah. take the one that concerns me, the one that does not concern me, and leave it right at the altar. They want to be called, okay, I'm going. Mm. And Thank that's how I'm doing right Jim. now. Thank you for helping us elevate the conversation. I was able to relate with you along on 90, 30. Let's say, let's say, you want to say, yeah, no. Stop, my mom is going to say, yeah, no. Stop, my mom is going to say, yeah, no. All right, Jim, Jim, later. Go, 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 Okay, so the question that I have for you to round this up is, uh, well, the main question is, like, do you really believe that not paying your tithes could block your path to heaven? Or is this just another tactic to control the congregation? That's one. So, question, you're pregnant. <laughs> um, I, when I was growing up, there were many, many testimonies of people that woke up after being asleep for two, three days. When I say asleep, I say they were dead. Uh, for two, three days, and they came back and said, ah, there's heaven, you know? Uh, I don't, they were asleep, okay? They, I don't know if, uh, but they were dead, essentially, okay? They might have been in coma. They might have actually been dead. I don't know if people can die for days and come back, but people can be in coma. But bottom line is that there were many, many testimonials like that, and they used that to sell don't let me use the language cell, but they use that to remind people that the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ is at hand, right? So that's the second leg of the question. Do you believe that? And do, do you believe not paying tithe or at least not giving to the needy can block you from making it? Mm, okay. you, you spoke of almost three things. Mm-hmm. Giving to the needy and paying tight is not the same thing. Okay. It's not the same thing. It's Gr- granted. Different. Yeah. Granted. So, but do you believe if you me, don't do any of the two, that can block you from heaven? Where is the heaven? Well, Look, you don't believe brother, in heaven. My brother, I'm going to deceive ourselves. We were taught about heaven as a child if we grew up. We were taught about heaven because we are Christians. Mm-hmm. Religious speaking, that have you met atheists, people who don't go to church or anything? You can never tell them about heaven and they'll believe you. You know what and I that's mean? Why so for me, uh, so for me, mm-hmm. the concept of heaven, mm-hmm. I I put that in the context of spirituality. Okay. Okay. I'm a Christian. Okay. I believe okay. in this uh, doctrine. Mm-hmm. I believe in spirituality. So there is heaven somewhere. So there's heaven. But heaven. when it comes to reality, mm-hmm. uh, I usually say, you know what? Carry your heaven stuff. You sit down one place. So there's Especially, no 11th planet somewhere called heaven. That's what you're do saying. You, have you seen one? I haven't seen one. I, I don't I, I'm know. I've not seen Pluto. Have I seen Pluto? I've been mass at the Venus. Uh, I, didn't, uh, I didn't see any of them. I just uh, see them in books. Okay exactly so i only go by what i know okay. i don't go by what uh look just like when our our parents told us a uh, folk taste you know all those uh, things by moonlight and everything mm-hmm. when they tell us the story we believe it right mm-hmm. and then we retell the same story to our children and then the story become reality after a while and mm-hmm. we all know it's in Afabu. it's just like uh, telling American children about Halloween. 
<laughs> he say Halloween. They think they don't go believe. You know, it's Christmas. I think for the not for the Christmas. Santa Claus. Look, which which one is this one that they say use? This one that used to come and pick their teeth when they are when they are. This day we even have black for the Christmas in our church now. It's fairy. We we have black for the Christmas now in our church. Me and my son, we have to do back and forth about tooth fairy. I have to play along with him. His teeth came out like daddy. I dropped the teeth here. They said the tooth fairy gonna come and pick it up. I didn't see. I said, don't worry, just leave it there. The tooth fairy will come and pick it up. It will come because yeah, I don't want to go in. We, we used to throw it on the <laughs> roof now. <laughs> ah, you remember when they told us that if lizard see your teeth when it come out, it will not go grow again. <laughs> so my brother, there are there are <laughs> there are just some things that um we don't have to say it out loud so that we don't ruin some things for people who be yes because them. we want to be respectful mm. for people's faith their yes. personal belief systems uh, and, uh, so yes. it is what it is but everybody has their own way of believing so as far as i'm concerned when it comes to heaven 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 ah, we want to go to every in fact let we not talk something man do you know when i left nigeria Mm -hmm. and i was here in the u.s i was still running my business in nigeria but there was nobody there there was somebody i wanted to hand over the business to that boy lives in ife and in ife. he's a church work ife and okay. i'm in lagos okay. my office was inside the last room mm -hmm. but he lives in ife and he go to church in ife Mm -hmm. He has his, his school at Ife, he finished no work, so he was just doing whatever he came to meet him. But a very bright young man, mm. and very close. So when I was planning, when I knew that I was going to come to US, I told him, come over, you're going to live in my place, stay with me for six months, I'm going to show you how I run this business, and you will just have the business to yourself. This business, the business at that time has the potential of at least bringing in 2.5 to 3 million naira in a year. Mm. Guess what he told me? He said he would have loved to come, but the church where he is serving, uh, he's a church worker, and I won't even miss wow. what about it. He's redeemed. He's redeemed that he was wow. going. So it was mm. like, ah, I'm, I'm a church worker, and right now I, I'm handling a lot of responsibility, and um, um, I will... <laughs> bottom line he can't leave the church he can't leave over. the church yep you see so nothing i did not tell him like dude what the f is wrong with you mm. you need money i can give this thing you to rather anybody, come and borrow from you than work but i wanted to give this thing to you because of how you are to me and you say church i said okay well, he didn't come so i now told the two younger brothers mm -hmm. I, uh, Okay, his thing has ceased though. I can't hear him anymore. Oh, can you hear me? Okay, I can hear you now. Yeah, you're struggling to this thing. I just want to move come up from somebody with the mic. Okay. okay, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. So he has two younger brothers. So I called the two younger brothers and I told them that, look, your brother has just made a grave mistake. Now, mm. here's what I'm going to tell you. I know you are all Christian too. But don't be his type of Christian. Mm. Look at yourself. Look at me. We all know each other's story. Mm. I I rise from nothing. Mm -hmm. If I have put church in my head, I wouldn't be where I am now. Mm -hmm. Serve God. Go to church every Sunday. But never mix religion with hustle. Hustle when you are supposed to hustle. And serve God when you are supposed to serve God. Mm. To cut the long story short, the other two younger ones, they are balling now. Mm. Properties everywhere car the build houses and all that mm. same guy is still struggling mm. sometimes when he call at a point i'm just like you know what don't even call me because every time when i render help mm -hmm. i can't just forget about that opportunity that, that he missed. missed out on so what i'm saying in essence is this this religious doctrine mm. the way they have used it to brainwash some people it's mm. difficult for them to come out of it. For me, what I look at, just to, to answer your second question at the same time about paying tight or not uh, paying tight. Right. For me, what I look at is this. If you are paying tight and you are getting results, continue to pay it. Do you? Do your thing. It works for you. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yep. Me. Agreed. 
It doesn't work for me like that. Make I no lie. Mm. You it can't. You work. can't comprehend it. It's not your will. Hey. But for me, I have been given. I can't even remember. Almost, it's like Not it's giving. part of me now. Every month, right? Every month, as my money they enter, that one where I won't give away, I don't arrange them mm. because it works for me. So I am not against people who pay tight, mm. and I'm not against people who don't pay. I always made one example whenever I mistakenly fall into this tightening argument with some people, who, some religious fanatics. Mm -hmm. What I used to tell them is this: Do you? know how many muslims who are millionaires and billionaires do they come to your church to pay tight eh, we are talking about christian that, eh, eh, eh. if mm. tight is the reason god will bless you then god would be blessing muslims and everything mm. there are so many instances this same heaven we are talking about now you remember there was a time that when this our so-called Uvasabi pastors in nigeria when they are preaching they will mm -hmm. threaten anybody. They will tell you they the do. Muslims. They will tell you the Muslims. Mm -hmm. uh, they are mm -hmm. not going to heaven. They are wicked. They are this, they are that. And I'll be like, really? So all these millions upon millions of, uh, 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 of, of Muslims, in your mind now, you think you have said something, Abi. So mm -hmm. we should stop deceiving ourselves. We should stop deceiving ourselves. That's why my thing is, read your Bible, mm -hmm. interpret it. If you read some aspect of Bible, you can't really dissect it. Mm -hmm. Go to someone with higher knowledge of the Bible. You discuss it together. But just follow the Bible. So it's not every time you follow this pastor, say this, this pastor, say that. Do you know how many people they have misled because of all this threat? Mm -hmm. Look, imagine the one Baba saying the in the in the in the. In, in the apologize for now, even though it's not apologizing. Do mm. you know how many people who have heard that word that you will not go to heaven if you don't pay tight? Yeah. And they have struggled, 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 even when they don't have money. Some people will even blame themselves just because Baba said they won't go to heaven. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, that's what that's what I said. So the apology is like a band-aid. On the wound. Don't forget, Baba right? is not apologizing but, uh, anything. I'm sorry no, to say. Just, just, just. This just, is how me. I hear the message. No, just for the sake of the point, right? The, okay. If if someone like him makes an apology, right? It's like a bandaid on a wound. But because of his uh, ma the magnitude of his power and influence bestowed upon him, we have no idea how deep that wound has gone. Yeah. Exactly. You know? So, I just told you, I just told you the story of a boy that won't live mm -hmm. just because he's a church worker. Yeah, it goes eh? deep. It goes deep. It happens all the time. Mm -hmm. Look, even here in America, a guy came, uh yeah, yeah, never day, everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, every weekend we have to help him with the carry and we where we get side of we we'll go carry the guy along to go and work so that at least even at the point he was making more than the people that have Pali, but they mm -hmm. are doing uh, no great job. But mm -hmm. then, at the point, this guy, you can just schedule him for work. He go, he go reach uh, Saturday with this appointment. He say, ah, hey, we get one program for church tomorrow. We, we have to do this. Way. I'm so sorry. And I'll be like, oh, no vessel. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. I cannot say you shouldn't go and do church program. Go and do church program. So I didn't know that before he did it to me, he has done it to like four other guys that run businesses. So when he did it to me, the next time he get, uh, he was expecting now, and he knows my schedule. They know almost every weekend I must mm -hmm. there again. I didn't call him. The thing went for like three weeks. He finally called Egbo. What happened? You, you don't call me now. Yeah, uh, now I say, oh, no verse. I have someone else that is handling that job for me now. Mm -hmm. He thought I'm playing. Now so I take leave and JJ. And when he when later we met, now he can't take him out. They tell me say ah. Bros, I don't know say for America here. Every Sunday, they, they close on time so that people go feel go work. Oh. Now I say, mm. oh, even your pastor at yeah, that church, some of the pastors get work. Mm. They know that people do evening shift. They do morning shift. So that's why you have two, three services at times. Now, you want to go, sir, we now we be, we be sinner. We don't go to church, you know? So I'm just saying that some of the things this our men of god has preached in the past 
It has ruined many of our father and our sisters. It's, it's ruined lives. There's and no we are facing the same problem right now, mm-hmm. even in Nigeria as a society. My, my, st- my struggle, right, is I don't know if I should blame that on them because I believe they are a victim of their own mindset or the mindset that they were also passed down to them. Mm. So that's, and just that's like the way I'm said, looking at it. Yeah. Just like you say, I won't don't blame it on them per se. But mm-hmm. rather, I will blame it on the followers. The followers yeah. are close-minded. Yes, they are responsible. These followers, follow. yeah, one time I was saying that the way Nigerian Christians, they follow their Papa Gios. Mm-hmm. If you carry Jesus' stand like this, you carry their Papa Gios' stand. Mm-hmm. They will, they will pick their deal. They will pick their deal Fast. before Jesus. <laughs> So you yeah. see, that's just the way the, the way it is. Now, if even you this video where you do now, for say you know call Baba, you know you were just kind of looking at it and you were just moderating today in short. More language, yes. Some some of the people that attend the church, they will still see this video now. They go verse. Ah, oh, yeah, they yeah. go just verse. No, it, it it's our problem in Nigeria. They, they we don't the, look there's, at there's the main girl, thing. There's a girl called Maya Waolaya. I mentioned her, I, play, I played her audio earlier. Uh, that she used to tackle all of this talk. talk. She was a prodigy of uh, Dr. Sunday Adilaja uh, from Ukraine. Okay. And she was dragging them at that time, around that same time, 2018 19, before COVID. When they tackled that girl's YouTube channel and Facebook, they brought everything down. Uh. They flagged that's, everything, brought them down. No, that's what that's what they do. Well, for me, may God forgive me. Mm-hmm. Thank God. Uh, you know, those that really know me well, they don't already understand how my own life be now. If you be born again, do your born again. Mm-hmm. You like your Papa Gio, love your daddy Gio. But my where me I'll get problem with you is if you want to use your own religion, uh Pureness, I be over Sabi. You want mm-hmm. to use it to step on me. Now there where I go come. Just leave everybody. Let them be whatever they want. Leave to and do. let live. Ah, leave and let live, oh, Baba. Mm-hmm. But as time goes on, some of them will wake up. Only that is gonna be too late. Is mm-hmm. it not one of them that told his congregation that they should have heavy investment? When COVID hit, don't mm-hmm. you see some of their member carry video come and say, Daddy? Uh, my heaven, Jesus investment, whatever they call it, I, I want it back. <laughs> wala, wala. Yes, when COVID hit and they were at home, you know, lockdown, yeah. immediately all the churches they develop app, sharp, 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 sharp. Mm. Then they go to the app, go and pay your tithe, go and pay your tithe, go and pay your tithe. They don't even care that these people are suffering. So tell me, what does that say about this? Our Papa Gio, Mommy, Mommy Gio. There are numerous examples. The thing is, we idolize people in Nigeria. Mm. We don't really, we know they even anything wait on anything that the Geo Father Geo said, he goes. People don't even say, let me verify or let me even check if this thing is applicable in reality. And that's why you say that for a very long time, many of these Geos, they have said so many things that even some of them go, they pray now, many people not dig the video come out. Mm. Because they feel like they are God. They anything that comes to their mind, they say it. And that's why I say being Kana is part of the problem they have now. When you were talking about anointing earlier on, I said, look, some of them are really anointed. Mm-hmm. But there are some things you will do that the anointing will go away. Look at the life of Saul in the Bible. Or is mm. it not Saul? That king, that king that was anointed before David. That mm. by the time he messed up and the anointing was gone, then God says somewhere, go anoint uh, David. And then the king became bitter. It's almost the same thing with many of these of our father, Gio, that the Gio. So MOP, my own be saying, yeah, make everybody that they are laying a bag. I appreciate your contribution, sir. I appreciate you. Thanks, thank boss you. man. We'll talk soon. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Uncle Beno. Thank you, Jum Jum. Thank you, brother Kidola, for contributing to the conversation. My overall uh, take on this, I'm a church boy. Not only that, I was trained well where I'm from, but I also believe that there's a need for ongoing conversations around how our reality is evolving. There's some things that you can't just bury, you know. 
as far as a lot of people are concerned we should just bury it and not talk about it unfortunately to come out in other ways it to come out in ways that you don't see it coming and it's going to affect lives and lower the quality of our lives so um i strongly believe that all this our parents they just they're sharing what they know and all they know is what they're sharing and it's our responsibility to manage the evolution of either we're talking about our life our love life relationships faith life your spiritual life it's your responsibility as an individual to manage the evolution of all those different very important aspects of life faith and religion does a number in a good way in terms of hope because life can be tough on us sometimes that's just what you're holding on to for the next day right so i'm not just going to sit around and just bash people's faith and religion i don't believe in that i do have a very unique perspective to faith uh, i do uh, if i get too deep into it it will create disagreements but it's not necessary after all it's personal okay so the apology that baba deboye gave okay i guess but uh i don't really expect much <laughs> i wasn't expecting it but i think it's an opportunity for us to continue to have the conversation and uh common sense is not useless like that i know i do say common sense is not enough the reason why i say that is because common sense is just not enough because what most people consider to be common sense is not enough people struggle in spite of all their common sense what we need is self awareness okay we need uh power dynamics wisdom we need social intelligence you need to learn how attraction works you need to learn emotional intelligence okay and you need to learn how to become a gift to other people in terms of the human experience you need to learn how to become a source of blessing no here and now uh if there is heaven you increase your chances of making it to heaven when you do that when you discount this place and you call it we have not we are not of this world and these are your reasons to be evil and be judgmental to the rest of the world <sighs> you go collector listen we are the representatives of god here on earth we are gods ye are gods don't forget that and i don't want to get into preaching because i'm not a preacher i'm a teacher and i just want you to pay attention to all these different nuances and then come up with what works for you but don't just come up with what works for you just because you are coconut head i think a lot of these people are operating from a place of coconut head they're hiding behind religion they're hiding behind a verse in the bible that justified whatever nonsense they're trying to push i think there's a lot of wisdom in that book and you don't have to make yourself a, a levite before you can benefit from that book if you're a christian um I don't really care for the arguments of Daddy Freeze arguments. We're not Levites, all that kind of stuff. Giving is giving. Giving tenth is giving tenth. It doesn't matter, okay? If you want to give more than tenth, too, that's fine. Giving is giving. If you give just one dollar, if you give just one present, is giving. That's still you giving. Whatever you can give, as long as it's cheerful giving. Before it even comes back in the form of a testimony, so you can give testimony in church, you're already enjoying that you can also be a source of blessing. To other people and i think that's the greatest joy in all of it as opposed to let me talk you down okay it's very tempting it's very i can see how it's tempting for them once once you collect a liberal tithe and you can live a lifestyle you start to feel entitled to people's earnings so you come up with rules and stuff like that the reality is that when you give value it will come back to you okay it will come back to you. Thank you, everybody. Hopefully, been enlightened, educated. Um, it's gonna be uh, probably what's today, Friday. I'll see you guys very, very soon. I've got another story we're cooking. Okay, I'll see you guys very, very soon. Just do me a favor, hit the like button, 
share subscribe turn up your notifications so you are notified when we go live hopefully you've been enlightened and educated i will see you on the next one Peace. Hey Prestige fam, show some love to the video. Hit like, subscribe, and share. Are you in Europe, America, and struggling your relationship? From argument to abuse and trust issues, we're here to help. Lola and I founded uh, Prestige Marriage Academy to transform your story. With 20 years of friendship, 17 years of marriage, experience with navigating the ups and downs of marriage, and personalized coaching, includes 24 7 support ignorance is expensive whatsapp us at plus one seven three two three oh five eight five seven seven to book a free discovery session today and take charge now don't wing it join us in creating the love life you, you deserve, deserve.